Then Abijah rested with his fathers and was buried in the city of David, and his son Esa reigned in his place. How quickly did that young guy have to grow up? So our theme is becoming a man or woman of God. It's growing up in, our, in the things of God. And, and one of the key things of growing up is this, taking responsibility for our life and for our faith. Spirit's maturity isn't measured by how high, high we jump in praise, but how straight we walk in obedience. That's a sign of a mature man or woman of God. It's not their expression of worship. It's not how they talk, it's how they walk. A young fool can be tolerated, but an old fool is hard to watch. A young fool can be tolerated, many of us were that, but an old fool is really difficult to watch. They struggle to maintain healthy relationships with other people. They struggle to hold down a job. They find it hard to cope with, listen, adult responsibilities. They refuse to take responsibility for their lifestyle choices. A major cause that hinders these people with Peter Pan syndrome from growing up is they tend to blame others for their problems. Everything about their life is unstable, it says, because they lack the ability to be committed to anything. Now, Peter Pan syndrome. Now consider how different it would be in the lives of thousands of Christians in their homes, in their workplaces, in their marriages, if they only learned to grow up and be responsible. Christi Christian maturity can be summed up with this quote. Accountability, responsibility and loyalty are still the currency of Christian maturity. A man called Corky Calham. Paul mentions three areas in a person's life that deals with spiritual immaturity now. Immaturity. How we talk, childish speech. How we think, childish thoughts. How we reason, childish reasoning. We must set aside the Peter Pan faith. We have to and be committed to the Lord. Go from being children in the faith to becoming strong, committed men or women of God. Thank you.